So today we're going to talk about cruise ship activities. Ooh, so fun! Yes. Now, before I forget, remember to hit the like button, which is the thumbs up, mm -hmm. for this video if you enjoy our video. That's right. And stay tuned until the very end of the video. We've got a very big announcement. We've got a big surprise. Well, I'll tell you right now the announcement is we're doing a giveaway. So for your chance to enter our $100 Carnival Cruise giveaway, stay tuned to the end of this video so you can find out how to enter. Ooh, it's so exciting. It is exciting. So speaking of exciting, let's talk about cruises and more specifically, cruise ship activities. Yeah. So there's obviously a lot of activities you can do on a cruise when you get off the ship in a port, take an excursion, you go to a private island, like uh, Perfect Day at Coco Cay or somewhere like that. Um, you can do all kinds of activities off the ship, but we're going to talk about activities on the ship. Mm -hmm. So most cruise ships, if you've been on a cruise ship, you may know this, or if you've seen a cruise ship even, you probably know this, have water slides. Yeah, they're yes. so much fun. Yeah, I don't think I've seen a cruise ship that doesn't have at least one pool. Yeah. So those are some great basic activities. Let's talk about some more uh, unique, newer, more original <laughs> activities, for lack of a better term. Um, one is, that comes to mind is on Royal Caribbean. They have something called the Flow Rider. Ooh. Can you tell them about what the Flow Rider is? It's kind of like trying to uh, uh, surf mm -hmm. on a make-believe wave. Or it's not make-believe, but you know. Yep, it's it's a surfing simulator, is I guess what I'd call it. But yep. yeah, you can you can surf on the back of the Royal Caribbean ship um, using a uh, little uh, a little bodyboard surfboard, I guess you'd call it. Mm -hmm. And I mentioned water slides before, which is fun. The kids really uh, love that and line up for those. Um, but on Disney, they've got something that's a little unique to that. Not quite a water slide. They call it the Aqueduct. Aqueduct is a, is a rafting uh, water ride that oh, yeah. goes around the upper deck of the ship, and it's it it has um, hills and, and 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 turns just like a water slide, but it's a little more gradual. And you're in a raft, so you can go with uh, your friends. Yeah. Yeah. You could even hold a drink, maybe. <laughs> well, I don't know if that's allowed. <laughs> oh. Okay, that's just some of the activities. Those are kind of the more water. Uh, oriented activities. There's other new activities are coming up with all the time. There's One, like the go-karts? Yeah, Norwegian has the uh, the racetrack on the upper deck of some of their newer ships and you can race little go-kart race cars so around. so exciting. I'm yeah. Just, I'm excited to go go-karting. <laughs> yes. Well, you'll have to wait till our next cruise. That might be a while, but we'll see. Maybe you might get on the go-kart. Um, now, Carnival has something called the Sky Ride and that's kind of like um, it's only on a few other ships, I believe, but it's kind of like a, um, a, a bicycle in the air. And you, you pedal it and you go around this track above the, oh, the pool deck right. of the ship. Yeah, if you're afraid of heights, it might not be the right <laughs> might for you. might not be the activity for you. <laughs> that's right. Um, speaking of maybe something that's a little too intense on the new Carnival ship Mardi Gras, they're going to have the very first at sea water, ah. um, rather roller coaster. Yes, roller the Bolt Roller Coaster. <laughs> um, so a roller coaster on a cruise ship, that is a new idea. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's not out yet, quite yet, but coming soon on the Mardi Gras and my bet more ships to follow, the Bolt Roller Coaster. So that's something exciting to look forward to. I hope the ship is stable. <laughs> Well, not moving. <laughs> well, I think you get get a, a safety harness and all that too, but yeah. Okay. So talking about um, moving and the, the effects of the sea or whatever, there's some activities that are just actually simulated. Oh. So like virtual reality. Yep. Um, one on MSC. <laughs> yes. MSC has kind of one of the, the, the first ones I think of, which is their Formula One uh, race car simulator. Ooh. Yeah. You can hop in there and you can... It looks like a Formula race car, Formula One race car on the cruise ship, and you can race around um, without actually moving much of anywhere. It's a, yeah. it's a simulator. Ah. Okay, okay. just simulation. That's that's the key. <laughs> so another one that comes to mind. This is more. I think I've only seen this on Royal Caribbean, but they have skydiving simulators Ooh. on some of their ships. You can go and you can go into this big. Uh, this this chamber and like you may have seen they have on land uh, I haven't done it myself and I don't think I probably would because I don't like heights but you can simulate skydiving right on the cruise ship skydiving ooh yes. that sounds scary yes well and speaking of sp scary if you want to simulate a battle 
a battle against other cruisers on the ship, what could you try? Laser tag. That's right. So much fun. That's right. A couple of different cruise lines now are offering that laser tag. I think they have that on both Norwegian and Royal Caribbean. Um, comment below if you know of any others that have that. Um, if you're into paintball, I don't think they really want you doing paint on the ship because they're trying to keep the ships looking pretty, mm -hmm. but you can use lasers. Ooh. Yes. Yeah, they put a, like a laser thing on you. A target, yeah. 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 So <laughs> a lot of fun. Um, one more I want to mention that's uh, kind of like, a, yeah, it's, a, it's a virtual reality, is on a Royal Caribbean they have this big um, globe looking thing on the top of the ship. Oh, yeah, and that's called that's... the sky pad. Yeah, it's, it's like a fake skydiving. Well, no, that's that's not the skydiving one. It's it's it, but it, it's it's kind of it has similar um, like feeling because gravity. you're yeah because you're jumping on a trampoline type surface. You've got bungee cords on you like you're um, bungee jumping, uh -huh. and you're wearing or you have the option to wear a virtual reality helmet. So you're seeing maybe you're skydiving. We didn't do that again. <laughs> I don't think I'd like the heights involved, and uh, but you can do virtual reality on the sky pad on Royal Caribbean. Yeah. Talk about a combination of a lot of crazy activities yeah. all in one spot. So look for that big, I think it was a big red or orange uh, globe on the back of the ship. We saw it on Mariner of the Seas. Uh, we did not partake in that one. I'm not sure if you need uh, appointments at all. So I would check into that. Yeah, yes, definitely. That. Let's talk about some more traditional activities that you may be familiar with uh, on a lot of cruise ships. Um, a lot, probably say most of them. You can find rock climbing walls. That's right, They're becoming very common. The Royal Caribbean, again, is one of them that you'll find on a lot of their ships. They'll have the rock climbing walls in the region. I've seen that on there as well. Um, very popular activity. Or you can do the zip line. Ah! Yeah, some ships, it's not quite as common, but some ships have the zip lines on the ship. Yeah. Um, certainly you can find excursions where you can do that, but that's not what this video is about. We're staying <laughs> on the cruise ship for activities. Um, some car uh, Carnival cruise ships have ropes courses. Yeah, that's what I want to try. Ooh. <laughs> You're up high. I don't know if I want to do the, the, the ropes course up, up high. I'd be afraid I'd, I'd get, get scared and stop and spot and everybody be going, go ahead, you big dummy. <laughs> so I don't think I'll do that one. But hey, if that interests you, go for it. Now, or, what if you want to do something that's more of a cold weather experience uh, on a cruise ship in the Caribbean? You can... Sometimes they have ice skating. Ice skating, yes. Royal Caribbean and Studio B um, has ice skating. Uh, they also do uh, ice shows with uh, skaters performing that. This is, an, uh, this is about activities. It's not about watching stuff. That's another topic for another day. But ice skating, you can do that on uh, some Royal Caribbean ships. And some have ice bars, too. Ice bars. Oh, okay, that, you're talking about a different kind of activity. This isn't a... <laughs> This is in a, a drinking and eating video, so <laughs> let's stay away from that. And then, of course, there's other activities like uh, like basketball. basketball. They, a lot of cruise ships have basketball courts. Um, some of the newer ships even have bowling. Ooh. Yes, yes. All um, you bowlers out there. Yes, yeah. On our next Norwegian cruise, I believe that uh, cruise ship has a bowling alley, so we might have to check that out. Yeah. Um, Bring your bowling it's... shoes. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that's required, but <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. They also, most of the ships, every ship we've been on has a video arcade. Yeah, that's fun. Yes, and what do you what do you always win when you go on the carnival video arcade? I get a little duck. Yes, yeah, so they have the duck, the duck game where you can uh, use. It's kind of like a claw game where you can claim a duck and then you can go and hide the duck later yeah. if you want. Yes, or find the duck like we did. Mm -hmm. That's right. Um, Disney has something very unique that we kept saying we were going to try when we were on the Disney Dream. Oh, yeah. We never got around to it on the a couple of their ships. Yeah, it's kind of like a scavenger hunt, exactly. It's called the Midship Detective Agency. Yeah. And it's a kiosk that you can go to, and you can get a little uh, clue packet, little um, uh, video clues, and you go around different places on the ship, and you solve one of three or four different mysteries they yeah. have for you. Yeah. Tell us what you thought of it when, yeah. if, you'd, if you've done it. Comment down below, because we, we kept saying we are going to do it, and we forgot about it. And, you yeah. know, these cruises go so fast, and you can't do everything. Exactly. Um, also, you're going to find a lot of traditional activities. Most cruise ships we've been on, I think all cruise ships we've been on, have miniature golf. Yes. Again, something we always say we're going to do and we don't, all, we don't usually get around to. Mm -hmm. um, you'll also find billiards or pool. Right. Uh, foosball, air hockey, table tennis. So many different types of fun game type activities. And if you're really big into the gaming, you can go to the casino mm -hmm. or... Play bingo. Play bingo. Yes. B-I-N-G-O. 
Yes. So a lot of different activities you can do on the ship, whether you're looking for something athletic and outgoing, or if you're looking for something more just game oriented and fun where you don't where you can kind of relax after eating at the buffet. Exactly. So comment down below with any activities that we forgot, because I'm sure we forgot some. Mm -hmm. um, but now it's time for us to talk about our giveaway. <gasps> So That's exciting. right. Our very first giveaway, and we're going for it. We're giving away a hundred dollar credit towards your next Carnival cruise. You can use it to pay for your cruise. Um, you can use it um, as an onboard some. credit. Use it when you're on the ship. Use it before. It's up to you. And to enter the drawing, you just need to um, enter. You just need to answer this question that Joy's going to tell you right now. Here's the question. Yes. Which ship was planned for Costa Cruises, but was on? ultimately delivered to Carnival Cruise Line. You have choices are Carnival Sunrise, mm -hmm. Carnival Splendor, Carnival Victory. Those are your three choices. So which ship was, was planned for Costa Cruises but was delivered to uh, Carnival Cruise Line instead? Yeah. And what are the choices again? The choices are Carnival Sunrise, Carnival Splendor, or Carnival Victory. That's right. And to enter, all you have to do is email us with your answer and your name so we know what name to announce if we draw you in our drawing. Mm -hmm. Email your name and your answer to info at cruisedayfun.com. That's info at cruisedayfun.com. The deadline is May 31st, 2021, and that's end of the day, Eastern Time, USA, New York Time. Um, if you're in the future and you're watching this, sorry you missed this. Look at some of our newer videos. Hopefully we're doing giveaways in the future too. I don't know, I'm not in the future yet. And another chance to enter in our next episode. That's right, so you can enter again with the answer from our next video. Yeah. Um, we'll do that again. Um, we'll announce the winner the first week of June. We wish you good luck and we hope you enjoyed this episode. Comment if you have any comments. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. That's right. And don't forget to subscribe. And if you really want to know when we have new videos coming out, subscribe with the notification bell on. Ding. That way you'll always know when we have a new video coming out. Exactly. Thanks, Thanks so for much watching. for watching. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye. Yes, bye.